Ohario wasn't at the Capitol January 6th, having been banned from Washington, D.C. while facing a previous criminal charge. Yeah. But prosecutors argue he helped orchestrate, organize, and privately claim credit for the assault on the Capitol. Proud boy Henry Enrique Tarrio is now prison boy. The far right group's leader, well, he was hit with a 22 year prison sentence, 36 months of supervised release, too. But what Tarrio told the Trump appointed judge during sentencing really does say it all. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Enrico Tarrio, the former head of the neo fascist group Proud Boys, was ordered to serve 22 years behind bars for seditious conspiracy. Now, that is the longest sentence of more than 1,100 doled out in connection with the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Despite being the Proud Boys ringleader, well, Tario wasn't too proud when faced with the prosecutor's request for 33 years in prison. Rising to speak before the sentence was handed down, Tario pleaded for leniency, describing January 6th as a national embarrassment and apologizing to the police officers who defended the Capitol and the lawmakers who fled in fear. His voice cracked as he expressed remorse for letting down his family and vowed that he is done with politics. I am not a political zealot. Inflicting harm or changing the results of the election was not my goal, Tario said. Please show me mercy, he said, adding, I ask you that you not take my 40s from me. A Trump-appointed U.S. District Judge Timothy Kelly was not moved by the 39-year-old Tario's words. Here's a snippet of what the judge said. The judge said this, quote, Mr. Tario was the ultimate leader of the conspiracy. On the stand, Tario said that, quote, my candidate lost, and, quote, these police officers deserve better, despite referring to law enforcement authorities as Gestapo forces in the days after January 6th. Although the sentence was less than what prosecutors were seeking, the judge did increase the sentence after finding that Tario's behavior could be punished as terrorism. And that terrorism label enables the court to enhance the punishment. And there's also a good chance that Tario will appeal this sentence, although it's not clear whether he even has any kind of viable ground for appeal. As we know, the prosecutors were quite meticulous in this prosecution because seditious conspiracy is a rarely charged crime. Now, that being said, prosecutors have been charging it a little bit lately with the January 6th attack, securing at least three other guilty verdicts under seditious conspiracy. And of course, it was with three other proud boys. Now, I'm thinking that we're not going to hear very much from Enrico Tario for the next 22 years while he is behind bars contemplating that attack he orchestrated on the U.S. Capitol But then again, I might be wrong. You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons. And thanks for watching.